We are wishing America a happy 238th birthday. She was actually born on July 4th, 1776. Patricia Kirkman joins us now to tell us about the symbols of freedom and to find out what personal year America is in. Patricia, how are you? I'm doing great. It's wonderful to be here again. But the nice thing about the universal year is a seven. So secrets are being made known for all of us. And the month of July is a five month. So it's all about major changes. Oh. Good to bad, bad to good. And it just happens that the 4th of July happens to be a nine day. Ending old things, making way for some new things to take place. And gosh knows, we all need that, right? We do. <laughs> definitely, pace. definitely need a change of pace. So there's many things that are going to be taking place. And as we're all out having our hot dogs and spending time mm -hmm. in, with family and friends, I think it would be nice to remember those that have spent so much time putting this country together. Right. There's so much symbology. If you take a look at a dollar bill, take a look at the uh, buildings in Washington, and there's a woman, I'll have to put it on my website because I forgot to bring her name with me today, but the book that has been written, it shows all elements of the symbols that are in our buildings and monies, etc. And everything revolves around the number 13. Isn't that strange? It thought. is strange. And 13 happens to be a four. Oh, yes, three plus one, four. That's right. And that four is the 4th of July. All kinds of good stuff going mm -hmm. on here. It's, it's amazing how it just always comes full circle. Right. Yeah. It, uh, I had to laugh. George Washington would not let anyone in his group, the soldiers, had to have 13 buttons on their jackets. Oh. Uh -huh. 13 stars in the flag. So there's a lot of things that go with 13 where people are th think it's unlucky, it really was very lucky for us. Mm -hmm. Why do we think it's lucky then? Is there a reason behind the unlucky 13? Well, I, I think that goes back to old school and I think most of it comes from the uh, oriental element of it because they don't like the numbers 4 and 13 has never been considered a lucky number. Many hotels will not have a 13th right. floor yeah. or they won't have a 13th room. But here we find out for us it's great. Yeah, that so is let's so... run that little puppy. <laughs> I know. It really makes you think, though. Yeah, it's like, it I does. wonder how it was so vastly different. But let's talk about what is July? Cancer? Cancer. Uh huh. Okay. And it's all about the good side of, of cancer. The good side. What are some of the bad sides of cancer? Well, the, the ones we were just talking <laughs> about. Pretty. Oh, was, well, yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. I guess I was talking about traits of people yeah. that were born in July. No. Cancer people are very, very family oriented and very strongly involved with making the family happy and everything about family is to the nth degree. Sometimes maybe a little too much for some people, but great for those that are involved. Right, oh, exactly. So that's the good part. Mm -hmm. Now I think one of the things that we need to think about with the new month that we're in, it's all about change. So think of July as nothing but changes from good to bad, bad to good. And Zach, you and I have never met before today, so this is a first. So I was going to give you a little tidbit about oh, who you are. When's your birthday? June 14th. Just happened a couple weeks ago. Yes. Oh, yeah. You're an old man. What can yes. I say? <laughs> I, I can feel it, too. <laughs> well, the thing that goes on within your chart, you're in a nine personal year. Now, most generally, we say nine is endings, wrapping up of old things. Mm -hmm. But the good part about it is anyone in the theater or dealing with arts or creative side, Nine is fabulous. So do we do we qualify? I was going to say this is an oh, that's a definite qualify, and you personally are going to qualify. Excellent. Very it's strongly. A it's a good day. So you you're making a lot of things take place this year, getting rid of things that don't matter, and making way for you to go to the next step up. Well, let's end on that note. Yeah. Done. Patricia, Please. thank you so thank much. You and so happy 4th to you. And a happy 4th to both of you. Thank you. And to our audience. And you can get readings from Patricia and other members of the metaphysical community at the Mystic Messengers Psychic Fair on Sunday, August 3rd. To learn more, you can call 742-9905 or online at patriciakirkman.com. And we'll be right back.